Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. Today, ang gagawin natin ay continuation lang ng ginawa natin ng karaan, which is yung introduction ng algebra. So, uh, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, pwede nating balikan yung introduction to algebra natin, part 1. So, doon, uh, na-tackle natin yung about sa variables, basic algebraic equations, and on how to solve them using addition and subtraction. So, ngayon naman, ang ating idadagdag, so, for the part 2, pag-aralan natin on how to use multiplication and division. So, without further ado, Para mas maiintindihan natin, proceed na tayo agad sa examples. Mag-solve tayo ng examples uh, using multiplication and division. So, kagaya nga ng sinasabi natin dun sa nakaraan, dun sa part 1 ng introduction natin, lagi nating tatandaan na to keep the balance, what we do to one side of the equals, we should also do to the other side. So, that's the main rule we need to remember. And, uh, kung ano, uh, ano ba yung, ano, opposite? What is the opposite of multiplying? It's dividing. So, doon sa subtraction, ay sa addition, ang opposite niya ay subtraction. So, yun yung magkadugtong. Sila lagi ang magkasama when it comes to solving equation, algebraic equation. So, kung nakakita ka na ng addition or plus sign, automatic yan, ang magbabalanse sa kanila ay yung opposite niya, yung subtraction. So, since dito tayo ngayon sa multiplication, ang opposite ng multi opposite of multiplying is dividing so let's have a look at these examples so here we are at first example which is 4x is equal to 8 so if 4x is equal to x what does x equals 2 although pag na natin alam na natin kaagad ang sagot that x is equal to 2 pero pwede rin natin tong isolve ng malinis ito yung pinaka basic na pag solve ito yung pundasyon para pag Mas mahihirap na yung mga problems na ma-encounter ma natin na hindi natin masasabi yung answer by just looking at the equation. Kailangan mong isolve talaga. So, ito yung way. Ito yung basic kung paano siya hahanapin. So, proceed na tayo kung paano siya isolve. So, nakikita lang natin dito yung 4x is equal to 8. So, paano maging multiplication yan? Tanungin nyo. Sa so, equation kasi, hindi natin pwedeng isulat yung x, yung symbol ng multiplication. That can be very confusing. So, sa algebra, we don't use the multiply symbol between numbers and letters. So, parang ganito kasi yung itsura niya. Behind it, yan talaga, ganito talaga yung real picture. Ito talaga yung itsura niya. 4 times x. Yan yung physical appearance niya talaga. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. ba hindi siya maganda tingnan. Confu very confusing pag isusulat pa natin yung symbol ng multiplication or division. ba? So, solving for x, 
4x is equal to 8. Gusto natin kunin muna ang value ng x sa one side ng equation natin. At magagawa lang natin yan sa pamamagitan ng pagdi-divide natin ng 4. So, bakit divide kasi ang gagamitin natin? Kasi nga, yun ang opposite sabi natin. Gamitin na, uh, para ma-eliminate natin, dapat opposite ng multiplication. Kung ano yung symbol dyan, kung kung addition yan, subtraction. Pero, since it's multiplication, divide ang gagawin natin. So, and by doing that, sa one side, syempre, gawin din natin sa kabilang side yan. Divide din natin ng 4, ang 8. So, that would be 8 divided by 4 equals 2. Ayan, naki ayan nakikita natin na to keep the balance, what we do to one side of the equal sign, we should also do to the other side. Nakuha na natin at alam na natin ang value ng x natin. Pero look at this. My, is, my 1 sa tabi ng x, which is sa mundo ng algebra, hindi na natin kailang isulat ito dahil understood na yan na may coefficient na 1 sa tabi ng x. So, solve na natin. na Nasolve na natin. May value na tayo ng x. Now, ang gagawin natin is we have to check for our answer if it's correct. Let's go back to our original equation. So, oh, ipa-plug na natin yung x is equal to 2. So, ayan, isubstitute lang natin ng, yung value ng x natin, which is 2. Then, multiply na natin. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. And, sa kabila is 8. So, balance. Our answer is correct. Para mas maintindihan pa natin, let's try a more difficult problem. First example, 3n equals 12. Let's divide both sides with 3. n is equal 4. Next. 5y equals 25. Let's divide both sides by 5. We will get 5, y is equal to 5. Ayan, uh, itong example na to ay medyo mas complicated, medyo mas mahirap. So, a over 2 is equal to 3. So, tinitingnan natin medyo may pagkakomplikado pero i-apply lang natin yung mga natutunan natin. Addition and subtraction or division, okay na yan. So, ano ba ang unahin natin? So, nakita natin a over 2, multiply lang din natin. Siyempre, since division, ano ba, ang, ano ba ang opposite ng division? So, it's a multiplication. Kaya, mag-multiply tayo ng both side ng times 2. Since 2 yung gusto natin i-eliminate doon para makuha natin yung value ng unknown natin, yung a. So, a over 2 times 2. So, cancel natin yung 2. So, magiging A na lang siya. Then, sa kabilang side, i-multiply lang natin din ng 2. 3 times 2 equals 6. O, ba? Easy peasy. Madali lang siya. Hindi siya ganun pahira. So, we have here another example. Again, it's still division. So, X over 4 equals 12. So, X divided by 4. So, div since division... Opposite nga ay multiplication. So, definitely, mag-multiply tayo both sides ng 4 para ma-eliminate natin yung 4, 4 dito. So, x divided by 4 times 4 will be 1. So, eliminated na yung 4. x na lang yung natitira sa kabilang side. And then, multiply natin. 12 times 4 equals 48. So, may value na ulit tayo ng x x is equal to 48. And so, we are now here for our final example. And it seems like it's very complicated. Sa tingin, ha? Huh? Sa tingin, medyo komplikado. But then again, since naaral na natin yung basic neto, medyo sisiyo na lang sa atin to pinat na lang siya so 1 1 over 5 y plus 2 equals 6 so since meron tayong whole number diyan 
na plus 2 or positive 2, yan yung una nating i-eliminate. So, ano ang gagawin? Since it's addition, ang opposite niya ay subtraction para ma-eliminate natin. So, maglagay tayo dyan ng minus 2. Then, let's do it also on the other side. 6 minus 2. So, cancel na siya. Wala na yung 2 natin sa kabila. And then, 6 minus 2 equals 4. So, ang natitira, 1 over 5y equals 4. So, ito naman yung isosolve natin ngayon. I-eliminate naman natin yung 5. So, since it's a division, multiplication naman ang gagawin natin para ma-eliminate yung 5. So, 1 over 5y times 5 equals sa kabila, i-magmultiply din tayo ng 4 times 5. So, 5 5 is eliminated. So, y na lang yung natitira sa kabila. And the other side is 4 times 5 equals 20. So, yan. May value na tayo ng y. y is equal to 20. So, ayan. Napakadali, di ba? Ang dali-dali lang. So, that's all again for today. Uh, mas maganda kung panuorin nyo yung part 1 nito para mas malalo, lalo nyo maintindihan at mas malinaw sa atin. Para kahit gaano pa kakomplikado, mas, malal, mas madaldalian lang tayo. So again guys, thank you again for watching. Please don't, don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe para, pa, para mas updated pa tayo sa mga darating na tutorials.